Hello everybody, welcome back to the Ace Simulations channel and today I'm going to unveil a brand new project. So what is the project? To put it simply, it is my level 1 certification which I will be doing through NAR. In the past, I've flown low power and high power rockets and done plenty of simulation and uh, guidance algorithm design in Kerbal Space Program. I would really like to put that into practice in real life. To do that, I need to be able to use and fly some higher power motors. Um, as required by NAR, I'll need my level one certification to do that. I want to fly rockets that are gonna go higher and faster so I can test actual guidance algorithms on them as opposed to doing it in Kerbal Space Program. I wanna keep the rocket as absolutely simple as possible. I'm not gonna do dual deployment, I'm just gonna have the rocket go up and then come down on a parachute it'll deploy at a G. On it, however, I will fly a flight computer, which in the past, on mid-power flights, um, I've flown multiple flight computers. Previously, I've used an Adafruit um, Feather 32U4 um, Adalogger, and I flew this on some mid-power flights. I actually flew it in uh, this design here, which would deploy brakes, um, like aerodynamic brakes, as it went up to help control its apogee. Um, it didn't work super well, but I learned a lot. Um, for my level one, I'm gonna be flying an upgraded version, which is gonna be an Adafruit Feather um, M0 Ada Logger. This is a different processor that's plenty faster, I have a whole lot more storage, um, and overall it's just gonna fit what I need to do a whole lot better. Flying an altimeter, an IMU, um, and then all that will be hooked in to the Adafruit M0, and I'm also gonna have uh, hopefully some telemetry, which I'll be able to do live. Um, for the telemetry, I've been working on some Linux stuff, so I'm using uh, Cosmos 5, which is a open source program developed by Ball Aerospace. I'm running this on um, Zorin Linux, which will hopefully interface very nicely with some of my Arduino uh, flight computer. Um, of course, as I go through this process, I'm gonna document every step of it and make videos. They'll probably be shorter videos, but more of them as opposed to super long ones um, every so often. So I'm still in the development phase of it. I have ideas of what I want to do, um, and I'm looking at products. I'm probably not going to design it completely um, from scratch, as this is my first high power rocket. Um, in the future, when I actually start testing control systems, I'll probably start designing my own. But for now, I'm just gonna try and use a pre-built. I'm currently looking on the Apogee Components website. They have tons of information for high power. Highly recommend it. Link is gonna be in the description. On their website, they have a bunch of recommended rockets. So as I go through these, um, I'm looking uh, for different options. I want to keep it simple. Um, I don't want to make a small rocket. I'd like it to be a little bit larger just so I have a little bit more to work on. Um, and ideally, I want to make it fiberglass. Um, one big advantage of fiberglass is for telemetry, um, it'll be transparent to radio. So I'm not going to have to do any strange things if, as if it was a carbon fiber or had metal components. So um, I'm going to try and use fiberglass if I can. Um, and it's also going to be tons stronger than if I were to do cardboard, because I do hope to use this rocket a couple of times, not just once. Overall, I'm really excited for this project. My goal is by the end of 2023, I have my level one certification, so that 2024 and on, I can start developing some uh, control systems. I mainly want to do the high power, so I can start entering into more supersonic flights, um, or at least faster flights as opposed to very low power and mid power rockets. One big design change I'll do to the rocket once I eventually decide on it will be incorporating a camera mount. Um, I'm mainly looking right now at using a run cam split. Um, however, I'm not 100% sure yet and that could change, but I definitely want to have some onboard uh, video. As this is my first time doing high power rocketry, if you have suggestions or um, places that you recommend for insight, you know, leave that in the comment section. I would very much like to hear about it. Um, and if you have questions for me as I go along this design process, comment those as well. I will also be doing live streams of the build process once I start doing that, and that'll be over on my Patreon. A link for that is also in the description below. 
If you enjoyed this video, consider leaving a like down below and subscribe for more. I'm going to hopefully continue this series and YouTube's been very strange lately about recommending content of creators. So if you subscribe, that'll ensure you don't miss an update. I will also hopefully be releasing a video very shortly on advanced ATC. So that'll include talking with the control tower and controlled airspace, um, as opposed to my previous video, which was just on Unicom. So make sure you subscribe and stay tuned for that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll catch you guys next time. See you.